Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. Wanted to jump on today to share with you some projects that I've been creating this weekend. My husband has been working and when the husband's at work, I get to play. <laughs> so I decided to grab out my new sweet story collection because I have all the pieces now uh, to make up the whole collection because as you guys know everything sort of wasn't out to begin with but now that I have everything I've um, I've started playing with it a lot more and it's really really fun and super pretty and I also grabbed out my one true love <laughs> all heart as well so I'll have an all heart project to share with you as well as some sweet story. So firstly, um, using my little butterfly punch, I just made a few pretty little butterfly embellishments, which I can add to my project as well as gift to my pen pals in their happy mail. And I used some glitter cardstock and I thought that looked um, really pretty with the glitter but here's just a few close-ups of some of the pretties that I made. I've also already used some of these um, butterflies in my project which you will see. So there are the butterflies. I've already used up a, quite a few of them. Then I wanted to make some memory decks, but I wanted to use glitter card stock with the memory decks as well, just to give them a bit of a sparkle. And I absolutely love how they turned out. So I picked out the hot air balloon baby blue paper for this one and then I thought I'd incorporate that with the baby blue glitter card stock and the colors are just amazing guys they're just so pretty in person and I did a fair bit of layering I used um, card stock stickers chipboard stickers and I just layered them up with foam tape and then you've got a couple of little puffy stickers on there as well. And this one little gold sequin on the top here, that's actually from the carousel embellishment pack. But I thought it went really pretty with the project. Got a fair bit of fair bit of dimension without it being two dimensional. If you guys can see that there. So yeah, really happy with how that turned out. I die cut out two of my memory decks dies and I stuck them together and I cut out the glitter cardstock piece separate and then I stuck that down and also stitched it um, along the bottom there to make it quite a sturdy card. So yeah, very happy with how that one turned out. So it turned out really, really pretty and I just love the colors. Such eye candy. And next I did this one with this beautiful patterned paper here. I just love this floral paper. And it's the only one I have <laughs> because I, I noticed that um, the six by eight paper pad that I bought it only comes now with 24 sheets and it used to come with a lot more but I don't know what's what's going on with crepe paper at the moment but it seems like the prices have gone up and you're getting less for what you're paying for it as well but I still love crepe paper it will still always have my heart <laughs> so you know it is what it is we do this um, because we love it so I'm just going to keep on crafting, keep on crafting with my favourite collections and this is one of my new favourites, it's so beautiful. 
So as you can see, this one I used um, the pink glitter card stock to go with that one. And you can see there one of my um, butterfly embellishments that I propped up the top there. And I've also got this piece back here, the star. That's, um, it's not Sweet Story. It's, uh, is it the Bella Boulevard um, puffy stickers that I purchased from Sassy Scrappers. And I absolutely love using them. They are so pretty and they go with most projects. So, yeah, there's my my two Memory Decks cards. I'm very happy with, with how they turned out. Then I created a circular tag flip, which I haven't done before. It's my first time. I've always just done, you know, like your rectangular style tag flip. But, yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. So I had this big sort of, uh, I don't know what type of die you would call it. It's almost like a scalloped nesting die, as you guys can see there on the back there to give you a better indication of how it looks. And I just cut them all out with using the 6x8 paper pad. I added one of my pink album rings on there, which I grabbed from AliExpress. And also these cute charms as well, which I purchased from AliExpress quite a while ago. It's just a little pink, um, like fluffy pom-pom and a cute little glitter lollipop charm. I was going to put a giant yellow lollipop charm on here that I got from Daiso. But it was just too big and chunky and it, the tag sort of wasn't sitting um, sort of the correct way I wanted it to sit because it was just weighing all the other tags down. Whereas when you put something small onto it, it doesn't weigh it down and it stays sitting, sitting up when I, um, when I pop this down onto the table. So first tag, I just wanted to have a sort of smaller size nesting tag. And I thought, why not use that um, cute little roller skate? And some of the puffy stickers. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see that. I was trying sort of not to cast a shadow, but it makes it a little hard sometimes. And then we have this tag here and I actually found it really, really easy to decorate these um, circular tags. I had a lot of fun with it. This um, rosette actually comes in the collection of Sweet Story, but I actually pulled it apart and um, like redid it myself, if that makes sense. So... It wasn't very dimensional and I wanted it to be a bit more dimensional than what it was. So I actually pulled off the label, put down some puffy tape, and then I just added some other extra bits and pieces there. I just thought it needed, you know, something else. So that's that one there. I think it's really pretty. And we have this one here. And I love how this one turned out as well. I used um, the ephemera pieces and this word magic came from the 12 by 12 patterned paper with the words on it. And I just cut all the words out to give myself um, more words to play with. And then we've got one of my butterfly embellishments up here. Gives it a bit of dimension. I love the colours. So pretty. We have this one here. I wanted to use that really cute giraffe and some hot air balloons for this one. And 
The only thing I am struggling with is in collections, them not making enough uh, chipboard words. I wish they made like a whole packet of just um, quotes and words with chipboard. We have this one here, decided to pop the camera onto this one. And this came from the Thickers pack, but they're not very dimensional, but it went perfect on the camera, I thought. And I sort of just kept it a bit simple as well because the patterned paper in the background is, you know, it's quite a busy pattern. So I didn't want to do a whole lot to the tag because then it'd probably just look like too much. You know, what's the saying? More is less. <laughs> I think that's the saying. I love this one. I thought this one turned out really cute with that little um, horse there. And I love these um, chipboard stickers. Like the pink in this collection is so beautiful. And then the last one, this was a rosette that was um, gifted to me by my pen pal Cheryl and I wanted to decorate it. So I decorated it and then added it to this last tag here. And I thought the colours turned out so pretty. So, yeah, there's my first ever circular tag flip. And I think it looks really, really cute. Okay, so next... I have the all heart pieces that I created. So my friend uh, Jennifer, Super Dimples, she sent me like an embellishment kit and it was to create these cute, almost like little library pocket cards. So I decided to put them together and embellish them and they turned out really, really cute. And I still love all heart. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what um, inspired me to create these. And, yeah, Jennifer helped as well by, you know, making me a kit and giving me some bits and pieces. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made these. So thank you, Jennifer. I absolutely love it when people send you things that you can recreate it's very, very thoughtful. So I love how these turned out. Let's go with a different one, actually, for me to show you. This one, I didn't use a whole heap of all heart on this one. It's kind of a bit of a mix. You've got a bit of um, Bella Boulevard, some puffy stickers that um, somebody sent me, but I'm not too sure where they came from. But yeah, I thought these turned out really cute. We have this one here. It's got my favorite hand piece on it, which quite a few of these little hand pieces, my pen pal Cheryl gifted to me and I've been using them all up. They're my favourite thing and they're the perfect size for small embellishments and small projects. So I'm not too sure yet what I'll pop into these pockets, but um, maybe like some little ephemera pieces or a little tag. But yeah, I think they're really, really cute. We have this one here. And then I made a mini pocket letter, which I thought turned out really cute. I ended up purchasing 
maybe a couple of months ago from Sassy Scrappers. Um, they were called Webster, it was Webster Pages, and they're like pockets. And I thought they'd make cute uh, mini pocket letters. So, yeah, I thought I'd pull that out and create a all heart one with it. So I've got a sequin mix in the top part here. And I also used some of the pieces, again, that um, Jennifer gifted to me in her kit. She made these sort of um, little layered paper pieces and stitched them together. And, and I thought they created a really um, pretty embellishment. I love the little moon. So I had to put a little flower on that moon there. I thought it looked really cute. And then I made a couple of little embellishments, which you can take out just to go inside the um, the, pa the pockets. Sorry, I was going to say pages and I meant to say pocket. <laughs> but yeah, that, um, that camera there is like a little embellishment that my pen pal can use. And I thought it turned out really, really pretty. And then we've just got just a decoration on this one. I used one of those beautiful flowers that my friend Cheryl gifted to me. They're so gorgeous. And then the bottom pocket as well is an embellishment that you can just take out. So you guys can see there. Oops, we just lost a, there we go. I'll just pop that aside for a second. So yeah, another embellishment that a pen pal can use. And again, using pieces that my friend Jennifer gifted to me. So yeah, very happy with how these projects turned out. I'm glad I was able to get some crafting done. It's, um, it's getting a little bit harder these days to have the time time to craft and I sort of only get it done you know when my husband's working so which is only sort of every second weekend that's the only time I get to to do these sorts of things now so yeah happy with the outcome and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed what I made as well Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, thanks for your love, support, and your beautiful comments. I hope you found this um, video inspirational, and I'll speak to you guys all again soon. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.